Hi guys, the small city of Los Alamitos wants out of California's sanctuary law. Governor Brown, yeah, California has become a sanctuary state. Well, this very small city in Orange County doesn't want to have anything to do with it. Am I posting this video on what's happening in California? Governor Brown making it a sanctuary state. No, I'm posting it to once again recommend that you subscribe to Grindall61 and that you watch what he does and that you use him as a power of example and you get active in your own community. People have asked me, I can't believe that you still recommend Grindall61. How can you do that? He supports Trump. Whether he supports Trump or not, and he has posted videos explaining his position on Trump, so I'm not going to, he, he speaks for himself on that. But why do I still have profound respect for Grindall61? Because he's not sitting back waiting for Trump to fix and make America great again. He's still out there every single day fighting to preserve his own liberty, property, freedom. And it's funny to me that so many people have left comments, horrible comments, and a lot came from Christians. Wow. How they want to see Californians burn up. They want them dead. Why? Because uh, California is the state that has forgotten about God and oh. no other state produces more activism than California. You watch these town council meetings and many are on Grindall 61's video uh, channel and the rooms are packed. So Grandall has also posted videos on the successes that he and the other activists in California have achieved. And they would not have achieved any of it had they sat back and waited for somebody else to do the fixing. It's very important to get active. What's happening in California as I have said throughout the years, it's happening all over. It's happening all over. Why do we see so obviously what's happening in California? Well, in part, it is because the agenda, Agenda 2030, and the communist agenda, yes, those leftist politicians out in California are communists. They are instituting a socialist Marxist state. But we get to hear a lot about what's happening in California because there are so many activists and there are so many people who are involved, involved And they post an awful lot of videos. I can't think of any other state that has the equivalent, the equivalent of people who are active, the equivalent of Californians. So what's happening in California is happening here in South Carolina and it's happening all over the country. And I have said with very few comments that I get when I say it is imperative that you become active in your own community, that you find out what is happening in your own community, and that you get involved. Otherwise, what happens? Is it not at this point fair to say 
that should you face your property being taken away from you, should you face an awful lot of what we see happening in California happen to you, is it not fair to say that perhaps you deserve what comes to you at this point if you have not gotten involved at all? The only person who's going to fix anything is you. When I have received comments from people telling me or asking me, well, what is the solution? I'm tired of you ranting and raving. What's the solution? How many times in six years have I, yeah, said and put out solutions, but people don't want to hear it because the solution is that everybody get involved in their own community because the answer is in your local community. And if everybody was involved, all of these awake people here on YouTube, if you were all involved and you were involved and cared about your own property, your own liberty, your own freedom, as much as you really claim you do, if that care was manifested in action, yeah, if it was a generative care and compelled you to act, if everybody was acting in their own communities all over this country, the ripple effect would be enormous. We could have absolutely held Agenda 2030 at bay. It's the lack of action that allows these agendas to proceed. So after seeing this video and listening to this Californian, yeah, one who shows up at the town council meeting, has a voice and speaks it, has an opinion. This is what everybody should be doing. And Grindel also has made it to zero hedge here. And I will a link below to everything, but yeah, California town defies Jerry Brown, opts out of sanctuary state law. Why do I post these videos? Uh, because I want to show you what, what can be done. I want to show you that, wow, when people act, a benefit is manifested from that action. And it's absolutely necessary in this fight. So, Los Alamitos le uh, leaders on Monday approved an ordinance that exempts their Orange County municipality from Senate Bill 54, a law that took effect January 1, and restricts law enforcement's cooperation with federal immigration authorities. It marks a rare effort by a city to challenge the sanctuary movement, which has wide support among elected officials in left-leaning California. Listen to that. Wow. Does it have wide support in Californians, the residents? It has wide support among elected officials. Well, those elected officials are supposed to be representing you, not their own agenda. But that is what is taking place in California, and it is taking place all over, all over our country. They're supposed to be representing us, and yet they represent their own agenda. This leftist, socialist, Marxist, communist agenda. It's clear to see in California, not so clear everywhere else, but that is taking place everywhere else. And suddenly, in your own communities, it will become as obvious as it is in California. And that's why I say, act now, or forever hold your peace. But the act should have happened yesterday, last year, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, five years ago, six years ago. 
and many in all this time. I could say that most have no clue what's going on in their own community still. And this is uh, Grindall's um, video posted on Zero Hedge. And you should listen to this Latino, a Trump supporter, and he's talking about how he came over from Mexico, his family came over from Mexico, they did it legally, and he is talking about how these leftist politicians should be in jail. They should get arrested for all of the crimes that they have committed. But these leftist local government officials, these state governors, and the senators, the state senators, my God, they could not be demonstrating more obvious behaviors that are so sick and twisted, so criminally corrupt, and they act like they are these dictators, as if they're on a pedestal, the arrogance dripping from them. How they could still be in office is beyond me. It, it's but this is what we have become here in our country. We think we vote and that's our civic duty and that's it. No. You got to keep these people in check. That's our obligation as citizens to this country. It's our job to oversee our town councils. And when we fail to be responsible, they take over. So, once again, yeah, grind all 61. He shows you what is fundamental in this fight. Get up, get out, find out what's happening in your community, take action, get involved. All links are below.